All right, so it's been a while. I didn't upload last week because I was busy. So today I'm making red velvet packet mix cupcakes. So let's open them up. Okay, so it says that the steps are to preheat the oven to 180. Insert 12 patty cases into my pan. Okay, so I opened it up yesterday night and I've actually already got patty cases in there. Even though we've got patty cases and I'll be fine. So I'm just going to get a tray. Okay, so I've got 12. So I'm just going to fill them up. Oh my God, <laughs> All right, so I've got 12 patty cases, 12 um, patty case tray. And it says you don't even need to beat it with like another trick beater. It's saying that you can just, um, you just, why have I got one? Oh my God, I've got more than 12. It comes with like 14. A 15 actually. Not. Okay, so it comes with more, I guess in case some of them break. I don't know, but that's 12. So let's get the mixture going. So it says to paste the cupcake mix in a bowl, but I need to add the eggs, the milk, and the butter as well. So we'll just start with the mix. I'm just going to pour it in there. Oh my god, it smells so good. Can't wait for them to be ready. <laughs> Alright, so as you can see, if I zoom out there, <laughs> I've got all my ingredients ready, so I've just got to get a stirring spoon. I'm going to use the spoon here, which is like a, like a spatula. And then I'm just going to add a bit, a bit, a bit. Let's add my milk first. And mix, mix that up. And then add my butter, just a little bit of the butter. I'll break it up. I probably should have waited for it to soften a bit, but that's all right. I'm just going to stir it for a bit. Okay, so the butter was not really working, so I'm just going to put it on for like 15 seconds on power 9. I'm just going to hope that that's going to soften it just a little bit because as I break it up, it's just calming. But if it's softer, it should mix it up. So it should be mixing in better now. So I've got it. I'm just going to add it in. At least one bit of it in. Yeah, that's mixing a lot easier. It's only clumpy from the other bit of butter, but there's not much I can do about it now. What shocked me is how easy the packet mix stirs. Like, most batter doesn't stir this easy, but the packet mix always does. And last egg. Yolk. <laughs> All right, that, that's the mixture. I'm just going to let it mix for a bit longer. And then I'm going to make the icing. I'm just going to, I'm going to use the same bowl. I'm just going to wash it. I'm trying to get all those clumps out of it. So we've got the, the patty cases ready for it. I'm just going to keep mixing it until it, the clumps go out of it. I'm just sort of trying to like poke it and then whisk it. It's just... I'm hoping by doing this I'm getting all those clumps out of it, at least the big clumps out of it, or breaking them into smaller clumps. Okay, so I've sort of started filling them up. So what I like to do, which is probably what everyone does, is fill them bit by bit and then obviously if there's leftovers, which there will be, you go on top or up. So that's what I'm doing. I can still see some little butter clumps. I'm hoping they'll just bake into the mixture <laughs> when I put them in the oven. I'm really hoping they will, because if they don't, I don't know what I'm going to do. All right, so I filled all of them. Now I'm just trying to give and take a little bit, seeing like which ones have got space. And if I overfill them, I'll take a bit from some of them. There's a massive butter clump there. I'm going to try and get that out. <laughs> I'm just trying to even them, because I want to make sure they're all even. Now we're making the icing. So for the 
icing. This is something I've just got to empty, it. empty this into there. I'm afraid the icing is going to be the messy part. Okay, so I've added the um, milk. Now it actually does smell like cream cheese, so I'm wondering if they've got like a, like a dehydrated cream cheese into it to make it like a typical milk. I'm going to add the butter to it too. Okay, so I'm just going to mix it now. It's difficult with all the butter, so it should come together all right there. Alright, so the icing's ready, just gotta wait for the cupcakes to finish. Now, tell me that doesn't look misleading because that's saying that you can pipe a bunch of icing on them, and that's about how much we've got, like enough to just smear it, of course, with a palette knife. So that's misleading. Okay, so I've taken them out, they're all ready, we just gotta wait for them to cool. And as I said, not a great deal of icing, so I'm just intrigued as to how we're meant to make this work. But you know, the cupcakes look amazing. Like you can tell that they're packet X because my cake, my cupcakes never look this good. <laughs> right, I've just let them um, cool down, so I've just got to ice them now. So this is the final result. I've just sort of splattered it onto the cupcakes because there's not an awful lot of icing, so it's just a little bit to go on the top. So I'm going to try one and I'm going to see how good it is. I'm hoping that they're good because I mean the packet mix always tastes better. <laughs> <laughs> 